Hello, I am in Guangzhou. I am back with my good friend Peter. And today we're going to be checking out some truly incredible local Cantonese desserts. I have to say one of my favorite desserts I've ever had. But of course, before you can truly enjoy dessert, you need to have dinner first. So that's exactly what Peter has taken me to this famous local restaurant to do. It's called Jiba, and they specialize in these casserole stone pot dishes. And there are so many different flavor and ingredient combinations to choose from. It's called Jiu Jiu Bao, or in Cantonese, Jiu Jiu Bao. We were four very hungry people at this table, so we ordered quite a few clay pots, a nice variety of meat, fish, and veggies. This one here is yellow eel, this one is cartilage from the middle of a chicken foot, this one is chicken breast, and this is okra. Basically what happens, he'll put this on the table, and then he'll open it up, and he'll give it a little mix. Oh my god, look at this. This one is Zhu Tang Fen, juicy rice rolls in the most amazing sticky, salty, yet slightly sweet sauce. I need to just try one right now because this is like my favorite thing. It's gonna be super hot. Oh, piping hot. But I simply needed to try it ASAP. Oh my god. Peter, how long do I have this? From 1 to 10. 500. <laughs> the flavor of this, like who knew? that a carb could taste so good. I also love that the bottom would slightly caramelize as it sizzled away, so you'd get that contrast of the soft and the slightly crispy. Oh my god, look how much food we have on this table. I wish I could like put smell with this video. Holy moly. A lot of people are saying Cantonese food is like overhyped. They have like a bland taste, but like look at this yeah. table of feast here that that I can guarantee you every dish here is full of flavor. It is not that kind of stereotypical Cantonese food that people are thinking about. Cantonese food is actually very diverse yeah. and very flavorful. We're gonna finish this meal and get back to you and uh, get some dessert. Two hours later. So we just had the most amazing dinner and we've just caught a taxi to our dessert location. I'm excited, I'm ready for some dessert because that was a uh, meal full of flavor and I'm excited to get my taste buds tingling with some uh, dessert flavors. So what are we about to eat, Peter? We are coming to this dessert place called Yu Ye Ling and this place specializes in anything about coconut. And it is so cute. There are like these little palm trees outside of it. Very appropriate since this is like a coconut themed restaurant and there's some coconuts here in the window as well. So I think I was kind of expecting that cutesy dessert vibe. Like, you know those cutesy dessert places? But I love that this is so, like, local vibe. A really, like, wood wall, this yeah. kind of vibe. Like, no frills kind no of No frills, and I like that. I learned that this place has actually been here doing business for over 30 years. The menu is also huge. For those who find big menus intimidating, they've also put together a list of their top 10 menu items. I have to say, I know an embarrassingly little amount about Cantonese dessert, so I'm hoping to be educated today. <laughs> what? It looks all... So, okay. I'm like, just wow. We've got three coconuts in front of us mm -hmm. here. This is like such a beautiful presentation. Okay, so I'm gonna start introducing the one in the middle. So this is a young coconut tofu pudding. Tofu pudding? Oh my god, that sounds amazing! This in the middle, that is tofu. But this tofu pudding is made with the coconut water in this coconut. Can we try one by one? Like, can we try it now? Go ahead. Okay, because I feel like I really, I'm just really excited to try that. Can I just, so I just like scoop it out and just dig go in, for it. just dig in. Oh my gosh, a coconut. Uh, don't drop anything. <laughs> <laughs> I told Peter about my cucumber, in, my sea cucumber incident. I'm now very careful with my food. Okay. It absolutely falls apart in my mouth. It's so good. Like, look how soft this is. That's like amazing. Perhaps you have some too. <laughs> <laughs> I could finish that off. It's so refreshing. Well, I mean, this is actually my favorite. What I really like about this one is that the fragrance of tofu itself combined with like a really fragrant taste of the coconut water. You know, they kind of like complement each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have to say one of my favorite desserts I've ever had. <laughs> it's just the perfect amount of sweet. And I don't know whether because we've just had a really flavorful meal, it's so refreshing. Mm -hmm. But that's like absolutely like almost, I want to say life changing. And that's why I love about it. <laughs> that's why I love eating with Peter. <laughs> wow, do you want to try the other two? Yeah. Okay. Which one should we try next? This one? It's like an actual coconut. Oh. I feel like I'm in Hawaii or something. So let me introduce this one. 
this one, it is a coconut milk pudding. So no tofu in this one. No tofu in this one. So you can see like inside, there's like the flesh of the oh, coconut. Yeah. You kind of like grate this into like a very fine powder. Yeah. And then yeah, add water to it and then squeeze out you know, like the juice and stuff. So that becomes the coconut milk. And they add, well, pretty much gelatin and then make them condense into a Ooh, jelly. It's, it's jiggly, look at this. Ooh! So a more, I'd say, silky texture, like more gelatinous texture than the yes. tofu. Exactly. Mm, yeah, it's good. It's still, It's got like a really natural coconut flavor, like not overwhelming in the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Both of these desserts, I feel like are two things I could just sit down and just polish off without that feeling of like remorse afterwards because yeah. it, I feel like they're not going to be really like sickly sweet and heavy on the stomach like no it's it's not like a chocolate brownie so no <laughs> let's just put it that way <laughs> mm, but like just as satisfying yeah in case there is anyone who does not know coconut very well so this kind of coconut is like a younger coconut oh okay the is this both of the same species they are like the this same will turn species. into this yes this will turn into this and the coconut water in the younger coconut, they taste better than the coconut water in the more matured coconut. Just see the flesh here. Like, this one is like a little bit jiggly. Yeah, the a bit flesh soft. here. But here, it's like, oh, it's like really concrete, really yeah. hard. So that's the difference between like and the younger underneath. and the older coconut. And underneath here, there's like yeah. a, another layer of jelly, which is like let, more see-through. Yeah. Coconut water jelly. Oh, coconut water jelly, and on yep. the top is the coconut milk jelly. Yep. So this is actually a two-part thing. Yep. So we've had our young coconut, and we've had our, what, old coconut? But matured coconut. Now it's time to try the third one, and as you can see, it's a little bit different from the two that have come before. This is also a young coconut. This is a coconut water jelly oh. with coconut chunk inside. Oh. It's a little bit harder to, to grab. Yeah. But equally amazing you gotta try it oh how's that good but i have to say i like these two better just because it's a little harder to eat it's yeah. a bit like more um it's got more texture in it yeah. but if you like raw coconut i feel like you'd really like this and it's also a lot less sweet so someone who doesn't like super sweet desserts would like this but for me i'm most attracted to this one is my number one favorite and then this one is my number two favorite. And then I'd say this one. It's still nice, but it's like a bit more hard on on the, the feel. It's hard to get it out, you know? Yeah, it's harder to grab. It's harder to grab, like. <laughs> well, let me steal yeah, some. Have it, have it. I'm going to focus on this one over here. I know one of the owner, and she's right there inside. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay now. Yeah, I know. She's so sweet. Can you tell her? Oh wait, how do I say in Cantonese this is delicious? Wait, let me let me tell me. Hosek, right? Lo se, hosek, hosek, hosek. Thank you. This is like the typical kind of vibe that we get in this kind of very local very little dessert places. Not only they serve traditional dessert, they also, you know, like, give us this kind of vibe that, like, we pretty much know everyone. I love it, I love it so much. And the thing I also really love about it is there's no dairy in any of these desserts. And you can probably tell I'm enjoying it. I have, like, I'm scraping the sides of this. Well, you are about to devour <laughs> the entire, yeah. entire coconut yeah. of this one. So what should I say? Well, you can finish off the rest of that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and right now you are devouring this one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna order something else from the menu just to let you try. Okay, nope. I guess it's gonna be coconut related. Nope. No? And would you believe me if I told you it's made of corn? It's corn! Corn and bits of egg to be exact. Corn inside a dessert? It has corn. It has juice. And <laughs> can you identify these white little chunks? A bamboo. No. Have you heard of something called um, water chestnut? Oh, water chestnut. I love water chestnut. So it's a water chestnut sweet soup. Sweet soup. I have to say the ingredients are quite interesting. We've got a mixture of egg, 
corn and water chestnut. Definitely not a combination I ever expected to see in a dessert. Like, look at this spoonful here. I can smell the corn. You go ahead. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, your name. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't think I would like it, but I really do like it. It plays on the sweetness of that sweet corn. Yeah, it definitely tastes like corn, but it's got like a lot of sweetness to that soup as well. But wait, there's more. What is this? So this is the Lu Dou Sha. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a slushy. Yep, a Like slushy. a mung bean slushy. If you would, try a little bit and tell me what you think. I have to say, it does have an interesting consistency. I have to, it doesn't look super pretty, like, you know, we've just had some pretty spectacular desserts. Yeah. What do you think? There's, there's something in that. There's a taste in that. What is it? Like, it's a, a little sweet in general, th this dish, but there's a there's something that's prodding me. What, what is, what's in this? There's a special kind of herb mm. in this dessert that um, Cantonese people, we call it chou tao, stinky herbs. Like, I have to say, it does taste a little strange, but I am getting used to it. The more I eat it, the more I'm understanding the flavor. Yeah. But I have to say that first, you know when you're expecting something and you get something else? Mm -hmm. It wasn't a flavor that I was expecting to have in like a sweet dessert. It sure. almost feels like a kind of herb you'd put in a soup or something like that. What it does is that it helps the um, cooling property of this mung bean soup to oh. like cool your body down even further. You've absolutely demolished that. Yeah, I devoured the entire thing because it's cooling. What do you mean by cooling? Well, I mean, so, long story short, According to traditional Chinese medicine, there are two kinds of property in food, warming and cooling. These kind of herbs or beans is more cooling. And if you're talking about like meat or chicken or like some sort of specific plant that's more pungent or chili pepper, something like that, yeah. that's warming. And in this kind of summer day, you definitely want something cooling to go into your body to cool your body down. One thing's for sure, after all these yummy desserts, I'm definitely feeling cooled down. And I guess just cool in general. Yeah, this restaurant is amazing. And the restaurant we just went to was amazing. Um, so two amazing places in one night. Hope you have enjoyed all the food I have. presented so far. I definitely, definitely have and cannot wait for my next food adventure with Peter in the future. Bye from Bye. Bangkok. <laughs>